to this book. I, in my hand it says, uh, As You Think is the title by Konosuke Matsushita. And whatever the case is, this must be maybe 20, 30 years ago. This is uh, how many pages? 300 pages? Not the thick book, just the uh, thought pieces put together. And uh, it's almost at random, so as he thought about certain issues in life and work, he put those thoughts together, maybe half a page or even one paragraph, and then this is a summary of it. And I was checking, uh, if I can find it, um, one quote there, it was something about... Uh, doing too much and he was saying in that that uh, sometimes you do too much to create waste may be good because you know the limit and uh, that may give you opportunity so all the waste may not become a waste and you can call it the suffering <laughs> may not become a suffering if you learn from it and not uh, repeat the same mistake. And uh, that's a pragmatic way. And uh, Konosuke Matsushita was born and raised uh, without much education. So everything he learned is by the people, uh, apprenticeship, different area, and became independent and started this company, Panasonic, and one of the most amazing growth story in Japan, after the war especially, even before the war he, when he started. But back to the book and one of the interesting part of what I found just a while ago about it is my piece of paper and uh, I want to see if uh, I can make sense out of it. Um, what I have in this piece of paper is just uh, maybe 25 different elements and all those elements are about the mind. And uh, what I have done apparently is that out of this uh, thought pieces I picked up in certain category of mind so that I can refer back. So basically I created the index. And I haven't gone back to the relationship of what picked, what I picked them, what pages and what they say for each of them. But I thought I'll just go through all of this, maybe 25 mind, and to see if, if it makes sense. And clearly that's one way to look at, like I was talking about, check from different angle. So let me get into it. Um, first one at the top says, correct mind or truthful mind second one is the the one without the mind without obsession next one is the mind of appreciation and the mind of snow that is the meek mind i may have posted the youtube snow is a very difficult or to translate the su is uh, as it is, now is straight, so very um, straightforward mind, uh, meaning, for example, is that uh, listen to other people correctly without you know, judging as much. The other item here is the uh, mind with the uh, passion, passionate mind. Following that is the free mind, a flexible mind, so that you don't do too much, more flexible. The next one is the mind with some room, um, so you have more, how can I say this, relaxed kind of a mind. And what is to point also is there's no perfection. There's some room for interpretation 
also relating to talking to a person, someone. Depending on each person, you can say something different, fit to the situation. Next one is the mind that you can think forward positively, related to a young mind and the attitude to move into the positive direction. That's the mind. The next mind is the mind which is practice oriented, execution oriented mind. So perhaps related to your doing your best and uh, uh, what's the word for this? Kokoro kitaeru, mind that you strengthen. You know, that's the important part to be pragmatic and practice oriented mind. Next one is the big mind, as opposed to the small mind, so that it has more flexibility. Um, also, there's another mind which says uh, with confidence, confident mind. There's another one which I like, which says the mind that can see who you are. Jiko Kansho. Jiko is yourself, Kansho is reflect. So it's like a mirror mind. I often say that, that you can look at yourself objectively. I like that. Um, there's the middle way, the mind that is more of a middle way, not to the, to the extreme. And sincere mind, and the mind to help others. So there are many, many, many minds, of course. And uh, I don't know why I did this, but uh, it's interesting that, uh, well, in Hindu or in India, I think they talk about the mind. Mind is the chitta, they call it. I understand it's something to do with that you can put lots of stuff in it. So this is the case so that the mind can be big or small or flexible or relaxed or positive or practice oriented. So there are many ways that the mind can move around. By the way, that remind me of the saying of Zen, which says the circle without the center. And if I think about the mind, it's like a lots of neurons and connected to each other, depending upon the situation that you face, you may have different response. So that is like a, there's no fixed center, but be flexible to move around, respond according to the needs. And I think the mind has such a capability. Anyway, move on. Um, here's a mind that is something that you can correctly make a judgment. Of course, that's very important. Did I mention about the mind that is to help others? thinking of others and doing something for them. That's the, another mind. Mind with wisdom. Or, yes, that's the word. Big wisdom is the Buddha word, Buddhist word. In contrast to big sorrow, big sadness, which is compassionate mind. Wisdom mind, compassionate mind. Kenkyo na kokoro. That's a difficult one to translate, but it's kind of like a humble mind. Also, there's the mind that would uh, give us a sense of the appro appropriate attitude or how can I say, tekse? relating to the situation that you can address. Um, responsive, I guess, kind of mind. Next one is uh, independent mind. And there's a mind about the life and management. For human to be successful, um, kind of a mind. And the kenshiki aru kokoro. This is the mind with the 
good understanding and to find the truthfulness, core issues, essential part that the mind can capture. That's the kind of mind. And there's a quote I said, it says, to utilize the whole of what you've got to get to the root of the key issues that you can understand. So that's the kind of a mind for that. The mind with the compassion and love, service, harmony, has a mind to help each other and be lively together. It's not self-centered mind. And there is this uh, compassionate mind, uh, studying mind, curious mind, lifelong study mind. The mind doesn't give up easily, endure mind, and the moral morality, ethic, ethical mind, studying mind, attitude of learning, I guess that's the point of this mind. And there's a mind that may help us to overcome our weakness. That's a long mind. But that's what it is. Your weakness to overcome that, that's the mind. And the mind who, which is um, responsive without any complacency, uh, kind of like a expect a, an expected type of mind. And here's another one, which is the Shinken no Hokoro. Shinken in Japanese is, Shin is truthful and Ken is sword. So Shinken means a very serious mind. And there's a relationship to the willingness of your mind. And uh, there's a mind which is renewed every day. Hibini aratana kokoro. Every day is new mind. There's a mind to respond to the opportunity. And there's a mind to wait for the opportunity to come. So maybe I may have picked up maybe 30 or 40, maybe more than that. And this book doesn't characterize in such a way, like I mentioned. It's just a random thought. That's why the thought pieces, he call it. But uh, I was interested in the way I tried to capture. I don't know what I did with this piece of paper. But uh, probably the reason what I did is I was curious about who I am and what I do and how to do. And uh, reading uh, Konosuke Matsushita's book and his uh, autobiography or the books about his upbringings and all of that, I felt they're very profound. Maybe because it's not so much based upon the knowledge like a lecturing, but more of a humble, synthesizing, capturing the mind of what he thinks is important. And if I may say so, that I have posted a bunch of uh, YouTube videos at occasion, you know, almost every few days or whatever the sequence or the frequency. And that is basically somewhat similar to his thought pieces, but in my case was more perhaps related to the wisdom or some learning point. And I kept on doing it and for years and then 350 videos, whatever the number. Probably corresponding to the various way of looking at how the mind functions and Again, depending upon the situation, the mind response will be different and there's lots of learning. So it's not like a linear process that, you know, if you read it, then you get it. It's more of a pragmatic way of how 
we would use our mind. And again, just capturing as knowledge and list of the mind that I mentioned, that's not the point of it. It's like a tool. So depending upon the situation I'm to utilize, and only the point that I felt especially interested in this piece of paper is that uh, I don't remember why I did this, but uh, in a way it makes sense. Maybe 20 years ago, 30 years ago I did, and uh, this is a time for my reflection of uh, who I am, what I do, and still like an elementary school kid to read this piece of paper and to reflect on who I am, what I do, what I can do better. That's, I guess, is the point of this video. Thank you.